Virgo, hi! Welcome to your July Tower Reading with me, JJ. We are outside. It is blazing hot. <laughs> and I, that is not even an understatement. So, <laughs> let's dive straight into your reading before I melt under the sun. <laughs> I was actually just having a quick chat with a Virgo friend of mine that was kind of also seemed very appropriate then for me to to get to get into this reading so before I even spoke with her I had you guys on my mind and was supposed to record this last night but couldn't manage <clears throat> so I have been wondering about Virgo because Virgo has just been very quiet and silent and um, it, it's almost as though Everything that's happened in June like hasn't really led up to anything now in July. There seems to be some, some kind of a disconnect. Or it could just be that you feel very much out of your element. Like, am I? So cards are coming out in the reverse. To the, and this rarely happens with me. So I, I had to stop and make sure that I was actually shuffling upright. But I am. I'm shuffling upright. But the cards that are popping out are popping up in the reverse. So, yeah, again, it's like, what is what is actually going on with Virgo in July? Um, what's making you feel like you're not on your ordinary wavelength? Or, or is something off? So we have the Page of uh, Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse as well. With the Page of Wands reversed. This makes me think of feeling um, a bit hesitant to go on a trip somewhere or having second thoughts. So this could have been something pl planned a while ago and you were very excited, really sure about it and now you're just having doubts. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is still very positive. It, it just... It, it doesn't decrease, it doesn't take from the, gr the grandness of the Ace of Pentacles, but it's just not as highlighted as it would be if it was in the upright position. With the Ace of Pentacles, like we're talking about all sorts of um, advancements financially, um, things just falling into place really nicely, that this possibility to always start from scratch with the Ace of Pentacles, there are no limits, I feel like you're basically on the right track usually when the ace of pentacles is in the upright but again with things with it being reversed like this this can also indicate a delay a delay when it comes to starting um something new so you could also just be in limbo which is why you are not your usual you're not feeling like your usual self it's um and again this disconnect between june and july so we're not quite done with June, but we haven't quite started July, even though we have. Yes, physically we have started July, but your mindset might still be parts of it. Half of it might still be in the past, and the other half is looking forward. So much so that there's no room for the present to actually um, be witnessed. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Basically, life is passing you by, Virgo. It's passing you by, passing everyone else by with relation to you. So hence, I, you know, I go back to my original question of um, why has Virgo been so silent? I haven't heard much from Virgo recently. And when I say that, I, I really don't just... It's not just personal friends. Oh, I realize that light must have been on all night ignore me so it's not just my own personal Virgo friends but the element of Virgo just seems to be quiet um, I myself was getting moments of Virgo inspiration uh, earlier actually in um, so at the very beginning of July and there were moments in June where especially when the moon entered Virgo when moon was in Virgo at some point where I really felt that kick come my way and felt extremely motivated to to look at the details and fine print of all the work that I was producing 
and I was extremely focused that day, I remember. Things worked out very well because I was being really anal about everything. Uh, double checking, triple checking, editing, proofreading, redesigning, designing again and again and again, getting multiple, like different people's opinions. There was basically no end to that, to that improvement, to that phase of improvement. And it was just, so to me that is very, very Virgoan. And that's essentially where all the hard work comes from as well. It's just your motivation to try things out more than once, over and over again, until you get it right. And there is really no getting it right, actually, with you, because perfection is that ultimate goal. And it would cease to become a goal if you ever reached it. Hence, it's always at arm's length, but never really quite there, right? So you're always running after improvement and perfection and uh, trying to bring that into your, your life and your environment. Well, it's, it looks like certain contracts are being revised at this time with this Three of Pentacles is also one reason why this Ace of Pentacles is causing that delay. So you are unable to actually get a move on and launch anything now in July um, with respect to your own personal ambitions and projects here until you find out more about this matter. This can involve your boss, your team, your family, uh, and it can be in relation to things like um, moving to another home, expanding a business, leaving uh, your, your current role and opting for something a bit more um, out of the box, which I feel is quite linked to this page of wands in the reverse as well. So. This Knight of Wands can be one reason for this Page of Wands to be in, in the reverse. That hesitation that I mentioned earlier of embarking on a new journey, which was it has been in, in planning for a very long time. So you've already booked your tickets. You've already scheduled time off. That's it. You're going, right? But if this self-confidence issue pops up, like, and you're just not certain about the trip anymore, it can be because if... Following this trip means giving you more leads for the future and different career options, then you might start to freak out thinking, but this is really something I'm not used to. But you have to realize that you keep doing this, Virgo. <laughs> like time and time again, people will push you to try different things. You will try to... Um, You'll try to convince people that change is something normal for you, but really it isn't. Like, change is something that bothers you. You like your routine. You like having a schedule and sticking by it. You like knowing what is going to happen in the next few days. And, you know, like, no one looks at a calendar more often than, than a Virgo or an Excel sheet. You've got that shit, sorry, color-coded <laughs> and everything. It's, it's, it's fantastic. So, no, I'm sorry, like, when it comes to accepting change, though, I really just, I don't feel like that is your strong point. So, this Knight of Wands, he's always up for change, always. He's bouncing from one place to the next, one person to the next, and he adapts really, really quickly. So, the moment he gets immersed in, into a new environment, it just takes him a few hours or a couple of days, depending on how foreign it is, for him to just adjust and get used to things. That is not the case for you guys. And that it, that is probably where this fear is coming from. Right. So, Virgo. There is a lot of potential for you to make yourself happy here. For, to, to see the brighter side of things, to overcome this fear, and to really embrace the opportunities that come your way in terms of like expanding on this, uh, your current situation at work, but also family business for those of you who run a family business. 
this is the center of your reading, basically. See? This is what I'm looking at here. You have this potential to either run away from the situation or face it and face it and really just be happy with uh, all these new adjustments and improvements because it's great and it can lead you down that path of greater independence that sparks even deeper transformation within yourself and then you know that you've won up to yourself here because the nine of pentacles to me is that it's it's you know <laughs> being given that new chance uh, it's it's being given an extra life and so you've won up to yourself here finances are on the up and up everything is looking great that way you're independent and have the possibility to be happy you just have to make it so because so how do you define happiness Virgo actually how do you what is happiness to you is happiness something that comes from within or is happiness something that you seek externally that you seek with, within other people situations that you get yourself in hobbies what is it where do you find your happiness are you content with yourself or are you happier with other people this is something that i want you to think about i'm also really i'm sorry if the sun is kind of like everywhere i don't really see how i look right now i probably look like a mess but um really hot out here Virgo. So, um, yeah. Um, are you happy on your own or are you happy with other people? Are you one of those people that thinks that you, that thinks they're incomplete unless their soulmate is there or unless they're constantly on the search for this potential new lover? Or um, are you able to thrive independently and be comfortable in your own skin? Because that's what will take you forward. And I've just noticed this pattern come up in your readings month after month where you are presented with this option to break free from toxic relationships and to stop pursuing um, relationships that just keep giving you a dead end at the end of the day because you end up regressing. You end up starting at square one again when, when things don't work out. When I look at that from a third perspective, to me, that is indicative of a character who is not satisfied unless another person is there with them. So they always, they need this constant push from people to feel satisfied, or it's almost like you have to, you need someone to come and tell you, Virgo, be happy about your life, because your life is actually quite great, and to provide you with tangible real life examples of other people's lives that are not as great for you to kind of just get it for it to sink in sink down um or sink in sorry <laughs> but what i see you doing doing time and time again is just trying to create more excuses and reasons as to why you can't move forward reasons as to why things could be better or should be better putting that out there though is bringing you the complete opposite of your wish and your desire so by putting it out there you're 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 kind of like sending off this vibe to the universe that says you're not ready for that next stage this death card keeps coming back around and it will always be it will be here until you seize it until you seize the moment take it and you actually accept this death upon yourself again metaphorical death so killing uh, limiting belief systems, killing away this notion that you cannot satisfy yourself, but you can, actually. And you would probably have a lot more control over your life, the way a Virgo likes it, if you didn't have people around that are bugging you. So stop trying to find the faults in uh, situations and relationships and groups and try to just because again that's what I see like your your reading ends on this five of, of cups here that's saying 
you're simply not seizing the moment. You're dwelling on the past, on spilt milk. So half of this card is that disconnect of you looking back into June and May before that. And the other half is, is projecting way into the future. So the present moment leaves you basically just dwelling, looking over spilt milk, not realizing what awaits you in the now, actually. Like if you just turn around and look at your present situation, you realize it's not that bad with these two cups that are still standing. But I feel as though if this person were to turn around, he'd skip these two cups, wouldn't even notice them, not because he doesn't give a hoot, but again, because of expectations, where it's going to be like, but the past tells me that this is going to happen again. So why should I believe these two cups? And it's projecting way into the future, into La La Land. You've created your own fantasy version of how you want your life to be. But when the universe throws opportunities that open doors or even cracks a window open for that wish to become possible you still have to work on it that's what you need to realize is that these things will not come for free you have to endure and put up with certain stages that are not going to be comfortable before you before you get to this nine of cups here but you, you enjoy work when it's something that pleases you at the end of the day. Like, if you're working on your own projects, you could spend 10 hours on that stuff. Or if someone entrusts you with a project, like a client comes and says, I need this done. You will work your butt off to satisfy that client, even if you don't believe in their project. If it's something that you've been tasked with, you will get it done. So something that we really love about you, Virgo. You can be committed when there is something that's actually quite binding, like written down on paper. So it says on paper, you will do this and you will do it to uh, your fullest potential so you'll get that done. Otherwise, when it comes to your own... I'm actually sweating! Sorry. <laughs> but when it comes to your own drive and initiative at work, so even with your own role at work if you don't enjoy the core project you can end up slacking but then you go home and spend like five seven hours drawing and that drawing or painting or writing or singing or whatever and that produces so much joy within you then you start escaping to this other world where you are a full-time rock star or a published novelist So in your dreamscape, you've already achieved those things and you're celebrating and popping that bottle of champagne. But what are all the steps that come before that, Virgo? So what happens to all those steps that involve hard work, involve compromise and contracts and signing things you don't want to sign and losing money and sleepless nights? What do you do with all of that hard work? You can't just skip it <laughs> and jump to the finish line. If that was possible, I think more people would, would be there. Um, if you have any Sagittarian friends, not that Sagittarius is not here, even though sometimes I see this Knight of Wands as Sagittarius. But I just really feel in general that you could learn from how a Sagittarian usually does this because Sagittarius is the archer. So what they aim for, when they aim for bullseye, they get it. They will get to that bullseye a lot faster than most people. Most people do, and that's because that's it. They've got tunnel vision. Their focus is, is on this end goal and nothing stops them, nothing prevents them, doesn't matter how many obstacles stand in the way, they, all, they're always, they always hit their target, they're always on point, and endure the hard work, because they know that 
if they were to deviate from that trajectory, there's no way that they can hit that bullseye. Do you, do you see what I'm trying to say? So no matter how much you try to play out different scenarios in your head of ways that you can earn, get to that success without earning that success, like if you're trying to cut corners, it's just not going to work. It's not. And clearly this pattern just keeps coming back around because you keep dodging bullets successfully so but next time you might not be able to dodge that bullet and by dodge that bullet I mean really dodge your comfort zone so so sorry but if you want to move to Russia move to Russia for God's sake because you think like why not cool experience it's been offered to me and yeah I think I might do it and then when it comes down to actually making a decision whether or not you are actually going to do it you get presented with all sorts of questions, you'll come back with things like, oh, but culture shock. Oh, but I don't speak the language. Oh, but what if it's too cold for me? What if this, what if that, and, and what about this? And, and then, you know, you're just, you don't leave yourself with that many options in the end. You can learn a language. You can deal with the cold. You will eventually uh, find your tribe, as they say, you might actually enjoy the food, you might like the culture, who are you to assume that all these things are actually going to be hindrances? They're only hindrances if you make it so. Right. So, Virgo, that's what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe, because that's like the easiest way that you can support this channel. And as usual, I really love you guys. Thank you for your um, comments and emails. I read all of them. Um, I haven't been able to respond to everyone recently, but that's because I've got so much on my plate. However, I do endeavor to get back to everyone whenever I have the opportunity. In the meanwhile, have an awesome month and don't let anything bring you down. There's plenty to look forward to. It's all going to be fine and dandy. Virgo. I love you guys. Bye.